What's up everyone, this is Q from Retro Q Gaming, and this video is going to come as not a surprise at all. So, as of today, at least in Japan, Nintendo of Japan have announced the white 8GB Wii U is discontinued. So, it's still available to go on sale on the actual Nintendo page, but it does list it to go out of production shortly. So, it's basically just, it is discontinued. Now, they're just going to sell through whatever stock they have left. The 32 gig model is going to continue on in sale. And they're actually going to introduce a white 32 gig version of the, the Wii U in Japan in June. So it's a little strange the fact that they'd actually, you know, bring, change the, the color of the, the other one. The, well, not change the color, but offer it in two different colors. Now, fair enough, I realize a color change isn't much, especially if people were going to buy just that unit. But the fact that the 8 gig Wii U has lasted this long is is kind of surprising because the 8 gigabyte Wii U is is very minimal. I mean, there's what you could do on it unless you were literally going to get a handful. I say a handful, maybe a dozen or two dozen or a couple more, because obviously size wise of virtual console games. But you'd be restricted to one, if even one, digital download of a of a retail game. For example, I mean, I have I have one retail game on my Wii U. It's well, one retail digital game at least, anyway. And it's nearly eight gigabyte, and that's not including the hard drive storage, well, the flash memory storage space and all. So it's it's a pretty it's pretty strange that it, it lasted this long, but the fact that we have the Nintendo NX announce well announcement next year, and they're all going to talk about it. They've they've already, I'll say, confirmed it through investor calls and saying what they won't talk about or won't announce. But the Nintendo NX is official ish. Sure, we don't know anything about it, but it's not surprising that they're going to kill off the eight gigabyte Wii U at least in Japan at first. Maybe throughout the rest of the world shortly after. So it doesn't surprise me anyway. But we'll see how that plays out. We probably won't see much at E3 regarding anything that has anything to do with this. But well, it, it is what it is anyway. So let me know in the comment section below what you think on the 8GB Wii U being discontinued or even how it lasted this long. I mean, some people like myself consider the 8GB Wii U as a very niche appeal even by Wii U standards. So let me know all that in the comment section below. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. You can follow me on Twitter because I got a short little series well, a little series coming up shortly and that's going to be starting pretty soon. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the rest of the videos in my channel.